Hello there. So if you want to render free, unlimited amount of the AI images by utilizing stable diffusion with Supermodel, the Blue Willow is probably service for you. So I don't know how long they will keep at this for free, but right now I will highly recommend take advantage of this option. Um, they're going in a beta mode right now working and they're working a similar as a mid journey. So they utilize the Discord interface, Discord options for you to create it. And uh, even better, they utilize the same set of the commands to use it. So it's a forward slash imagine and so on. So this is kind of great. They're also utilizing what they call super model, a little bit different model, which is very adaptive model supposed to. And depending on the style you want it, it's loading and working with all these different type of the models on the back end. Um, but for us as users, all we want to see is the front. So what does it change? There are two big options coming to the uh, Blue Willow the options that people was asking and one i'm very happy about this one it is a, a personal boat so if you work before with some other you can go to the chats and you start typing and there's a bunch of other people and it starts scrolling it, it, very nice you know to learn to see what people do chat but at one point like where's my images they're all gone what if i want to do privately what if i want to do in my own area and for this, you actually have it now, the boat will are available. So with the boat, all what you need to do, go there on the top, right click and says a message. And when you message to the boat, you will open your own private kind of chat. So in this case, whatever you're typing, whatever you're creating, it will only display in this window for you. That is a big plus, so you can do this way. The second thing is what is coming, it is ability to run your own server and invite the Blue Willow boat to that server so the other people or your community that you created can go and utilize. I done before this with a mid journey and it's actually very nice because if you have a specific group where you want to work, you work on some project or ideas you want to bounce around. So you can set up your private discord server, invite the Blue Willow boat there and people can use this utilize. Remember, that is a free use. So you don't need actual people who join that at this moment. They don't need pay money or this. They can just utilize, which is kind of very, very nice for these options. Um, but keep in mind again that private boat, it doesn't mean you can put any other uh, prompts there. That is PG-13 environment. It is must safe for the workplace. So there, whatever you generated, it's not generating locally on a machine, it's generating on the server. Even other people may don't see, moderators will see it and it will flag and everything. So just keep in mind this, it does not make absolutely private, do whatever you want to do, no. So another things also what I was try to uh, kind of mention for you and for those who are interested, they also open for the unpaid moderators for the Discord, for the channel. So it's meaning if you like the service, if you like what they produce, if you like the in a way they're going, or you want to have it your own influence how it's going, you can join the team of the Blue Willow. And you can join um, several ways. One, you can go through the careers. If you go to bluewillow.ai, they have some openings. And also you can apply if you're going to the Discord Blue Willow channel, you can, can go to the announcements and below right there, you can see the link to the forum for the application. They can fill up and become the uh, moderator. It's just, just to help say maybe thanks for the service they provide just to help support them their work what they try to do there they also from what i see and when they render the models is constantly updating it's constantly new um the way they're creating and result actually become quite a bit impressive like for example when i run with test with the zombies uh versus a different like playground or different with a mage uh that space well a little bit different but it is still be very impressive and a very clean nice result what is provided to us so let's go ahead test a couple of them and as a test we're going to use different strings see what is model can capable right now 
First, you'll notice right here, we do have it, the options for change aspect ratio and everything. So that is very good. We also can have it variations and upscale. If you have it, any questions about the prompts, how it's working, everything, they have very good community support. So let me go very fast over some channels available um, at the Blue Willow. Get starting. If you begin, this is just a way, very basic information. Uh, just says, hey, follow the rules of the Discord and other things. To fuck. And uh, rules is probably where you want kind of check, but usually it just tell you general guidelines. It's PG-13, uh, say for workspace, other things. Announcement where you can find the latest updates when there's new releases and all the stuff. Status on a currently service links, badges, all this stuff. Here is a trial support and report. This is probably where you want to ask a question. If you have any questions related not to the prompt, but you have questions related maybe how um, the command or how this is can be done. So you can type and find. Before you actually ask questions, I will say scroll up and down, see, because many times if you have questions, probably somebody already asked this and you can find answer. It saved time for you. The, if you have a question about prompt, go to the channel chat called prompt help. Right here beside already people put it a lot of very, very good suggestions on the prompt. You can also ask people what they suggest to do or what command. One thing that I uh, wish there was adding and probably hopefully it will be add very soon. It is command when you can have help or settings and give you set of command currently supported inside the Blue Willow, but they're progressing, they're developing and hopefully it will be available. The another big help for me was at the beginning and even now it's always great, great help. Just going to the any of their channels where people can post it like branch rookie anything and when you go inside you can see what people use it prompts okay what is come what is the result this is actually helping to see what's happening without me actually trying to type those effects for example i can see what like workers high quality and within height okay i can use it within height for this specifically or what i can do i can use it like image reference or what else i can do so this is actually um more visual part you can see what is created what image created as well it can give you direct quality of the image and you can see this is quality that what i can achieve with a blue willow uh, model with all this rendering and beside this it just gave a very very good inspirational point to this so let's go ahead to our uh, my own personal kind of bot where I created and how I say to do this you'll just need to go inside main right on the top right you'll see blue willow right click and go click say message when you click on a message it will open just direct messages with the bot where you can send in this case you don't need to worry about the scroll or up, down, and everything. So as you're going to type, you type very similar to the this mid journey. Imagine prompt, and at this point you can put an image reference if you have an image, or you can just type anything. So for example, we can go create magic tree all seasons. Okay, high details photorealistic oil painting I know it's somewhat controversial oil painting and photorealistic but we'll see what's happening with this okay and we'll can add magic for us some of this prompt I have at videos about how to create your own prompts um, and it is approach as a you describing to somebody so what i was meaning if i spoke with you and you have no reference inside your head what i'm saying so it's how i'm describing to you what i am seeing okay and we'll do ar respect ratio and we'll go to set maybe two by three so this is a portrait mode press enter and you can see what's happened right here it is start generating Okay, so right here, our render is done. And by default, you will have it four different images that you can select. If you don't like any of them, you can click button 
to regenerate right on the bottom right here or if you like it like for example i do think this tree look very interesting you can select and click upscale so it will take this image based and make it bigger also if you like variations you can click on um v which is stand for variations so it will take this image and by the way if you're not familiar it's going one two three four so it's going in this order directly and right here you can see u for the upscale upscale one two three or four image and same v for variations of the different and that one is just regenerate everything one thing keep in mind variations what is meaning it will take how that image look and create a different type of versions but it will base it somewhat on this image for example if you have a person with a hand stretched up and you have it variations it may recreate that person with hand putting down left or right so it's kind of look those variations okay when your image is upscale you can click and preview um, if you want save what you need to do go click says open in a browser and it will open on different page where you can preview image full size of this this is actually quite a bit large image and you can right click and go save image you can do this on a mac or pc the also about the prompt one thing keep in mind um if you make a some mistake in your prompt sadly it's not yet can tell you if it's right or wrong for example so if i have it imagine I'm putting right here and I type style, for example, which does not exist to 3000. You can see it will accept prompt. It does not tell me that that tag is not yet implemented or exist even, or I misspelled tag. So just keep it in mind. You will have some of those problems. And for example, right here, I use a tags that was inside the mid journey. However, I don't know if those tags is implemented or not because one of what quality two and another ones is uh for the sterilization so i don't know if they implement because i don't have it feedback the best way if you have it questions like this does that tag is actually working or does anything i would highly recommend again go right here to the main and go to there where's my prompt questions prompt help info go inside this channel and ask there says does this tag is supported the um, creators and the admins is very useful very fast so they can tell you precisely if those tags is implemented for you to use um, but overall here's a new updates how say it's a actually quite a bit big update or personal bot which is very nice and it's if i'm right was in somewhat beta in some case but now it's a, will fully release as well to add and uh, this way you can create your work without kind of messing up and trying to find in different places so it will be on one locations it's what i usually do all the time with uh, like mid journey or with uh, another services well thank you for watching this video hopefully you find some information useful remember take a take right now advantage of the free regenerations because it is free unlimited images you can create with very good model um very good art a lot you play around and see how it's work uh respond time is still be very good service is not too much overload so it's very fast very nice responding on this thank you for watching give us thumbs up subscribe click this notification button and have a great time